Fresh. Betty YouTube. It's your boy SMT New Jersey here. And what we are doing today is basically a VOD view of my own gameplay. I'm going to critique myself. I'm going to give myself a score out of 100. Um, this is a, this, I did win this game. But I don't feel like I played to the best of my abilities. So we're going to, we're going to give myself a grade. I don't normally play Zen. This is comp. I don't normally play Zen. So that was a little bit iffy was the fact that I'm playing Zen. But I have been playing Zen on my Smurf for like at least six or seven hours. So I feel like it's about time for me to like. You know, be good with Zen. So, let's see. So here, here I discorded the Orisa. I dominated the Orisa. Zarya almost died. Okay, I put the healing orb on the Reaper. Reaper still died. Now here, I I didn't have a healing orb on somebody. And when you're playing Zen, you need to have a healing orb on somebody at all times. So and then I flicked on Teresa. Good, good. I like this so far. That I realized when I, I remember this, I remember this. I remember that where I called out that the Zen had personal bubble. She was playing really aggressive, and right there, let's go back. Ugh. Right there, I could have maybe um, not have been so far up. So we got back to the part where I flicked on the Orisa. Let's wait for Zarya to look. Um, now, both my tanks are low, but Moira is back, so she's healing them. I wasn't even paying attention to that. See, here's where I messed up. I shouldn't have pushed forward as far. I should have stayed back, discorded her, and let my team take care of her. So, that that's kind of iffy. Sombra was on point. Reaper just teleported over there. I'm still respawning, and my team, the team fight is lost at this point. The team fight is indeed lost. We have one person on point, they have four people protecting it. But we did get through the choke. Now Diva's critical, Moira's critical, I healed Moira, because Moira needs more HP. Or doesn't need more HP, but is more useful. And then I never put the healing orb on to the Diva, so that was bad. And I got stuck. I got forced to push out to heal my team. And then I proceeded to get stuck. I should have either called out. I wasn't talking in game chat because I was in the party with um, SMTD Eclipse. But had I been in game chat, I could have called Moira to peek me and been able to... Um, been able to actually heal her without having to push up myself, which that's a mistake on my part because Zen has no movement abilities. He can't. He cannot like run away. I. I. Uh, so they got the res off. I was trying to peek it and get the mercy, but I knew I was gonna die. And then I had two HP and break pushed me down. There, I didn't do anything wrong right there. At least, from my knowledge of playing Zen, I didn't do anything wrong. I probably did, and if I did, I know somebody's gonna let me know what I did in the comment section. Cause I mean, it's never good to die as a healer, but I don't. I didn't. At least I don't see that I did anything wrong. Um. Yep. We EMP'd, and we diva bombed, and did. And didn't get a living soul. But Reaper ulted and saved the game. As I missed the orb onto him. Discorded the Hanzo. Yeah, Reaper Reaper was I'm not gonna say he was hard carrying, but my man was kinda hard carrying. Um I had a few times where I could have used trans that I didn't, at least I know, and I think I trans on an ulting um, Torbjorn, and then they, they Hanzo ulted, 
They did something, I don't remember. But the Torb turrets was destroying my team. And there wasn't much that I could really do. I discorded the Brig and I and we didn't do anything about it. But I discorded the Torb room and we absolutely annihilated for Torb. And that that right there. I pushed up way too far. I thought Ryan was coming with me, but Ryan was doing something completely else. What, where was Ryan? Was Ryan dead? Oh no, Ryan was there. He was just he came from the side angle. Okay. Cause I thought he was like standing around me, but he wasn't. So that was awful. And he shattered, he shattered. Um, no one else used the ult, but I was thinking about using ult to save D.Va, but at the same time, I don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily, I didn't see that D.Va do anything. She failed an EMP D.Va bomb, so kind of lost all respect for her. And I threw my orb on Moira. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um... I need to throw it on her again. There we go. I almost got flailed off right there. I need to. I needed to remember that she had flail because I definitely did not remember that she had flail. And I was too focused on. I noticed that the wrecking ball was low, and I didn't even see that the two people that were like right next to me were critical. As my Moira gets doom fisted by a torb, and then I throw my orb on the. Yep. Rally is OP, but. It's fine. I'm there. I, I did orb him. Mm, it looked like I orb him. It's so weird to see it in back uh, backwards. I keep getting confused. Um, Sigma ulted and I and I didn't know it was line of sight because Diva didn't die. And then I, yeah, that's what it was. I waited too long on a Hanzo ult and Torbjorn ulted. So I had it backwards. I thought I ulted on Torbjorn. I thought I ulted on Torbjorn and uh, Hanzo ulted, but it was the other way around. Hanzo ulted and then Torbjorn ulted. The only reason why I waited so long is for one, I didn't know where his ult was coming from, and two, I kind of thought D.Va could get out of it. I'm not going to lie, which that's a knock on me. I should never trust my random comp teammates. There's a mistake, but here I was starting to I was starting to get nervous. I thought we was not going to even get a tick, but I noticed that we had a tick, and I discorded discorded the mercy and got clapped by May. It was awful, but Wrecking Ball did his job and got Lucio and uh, Mercy and Diva bombed. So it was all good. We ended up they ended up trying to throw bodies at the point again. And we, uh, I think we lose this team fight. I don't think we lose. No, we don't. There's 18 seconds left. We won in like, we're like eight seconds left in one second, something like that. I believe. But I discorded him. No, we won directly in that team. That's right. Um, I didn't discord enough people, and. It was either that I discorded too much and never healed, or I didn't discord and I only healed. It was never, I never did both, which I'm guessing that's just like a problem with first time Zeners. Like, they just don't know how to do both at the same time, because that was my problem. I couldn't do both at the same time. It was just too difficult to manage both of them at the same time. It was like, like once you get focused on doing damage, you don't, you don't heal. Like, the moment you start doing too much damage, you do not heal. In the end, of course, Reaper Hard carried us again. Um, but that's the thing though. I mean, I, at least that's the thing with me, is, is I don't, if I'm doing damage, I will not heal. If I'm healing, I will not do damage. I struggle to do both. And really, Zen is like 
that one character that you shouldn't struggle to do both with. Because if you're healing, you're not just going to stand there and watch your orb do its thing. You're going to do damage. But it's the problem when the orb goes away or somebody else is critical. I'll completely, totally negate them. I'm basically a pocket zen. That's basically what I'm saying is I'm, I'm more or less a pocket zen. Ready for um, but other than that, I didn't... Like, other than that problem, I don't think that I have too many problems when I play Zen. But that one problem that I do have is kind of a bad problem. Because that, that is not that is not a good way to play Zen. But, um... That stupid May Ice Wall. Um, Reaper switched to May, and we have a Symmetra and Sigma. Symmetra, Sigma... Symmetra, May, Sigma, Moira, Orisa, and then the Zen. So we, we have the meta tank combo, which is Sigma, Orisa, and we also have two semi meta DPS, because Sim is meta. Sim is meta, it would be meta again, since. But I absolutely annihilate this Winston, and it's honestly hilarious. But. That's A1 for me, he wasn't paying any attention, so I'm just gonna flick, flick, flick. But, they had a sim. They had a sim, and no one knew that they had a sim. So, cause you didn't see any tele teleporter, or not, you didn't see any turrets. So they brought the entire team back, I started playing DPS, and my Sigma dies, my May dies, and then I die. I could have played more healers in and maybe held this point longer. We got absolutely annihilated off this point. Like, shit up and down, annihilated off this point. They did not even let us hold that point for more than like a minute. It's ridiculous. Well, I think we did hold for a minute, actually, like a minute and six seconds or something like that. But now, now that we know they have a sim, uh, sim we were honestly expecting flank pushes and other randomness, but I keep discording the uh, Lucio, and I played really aggressive here, and I'm honestly surprised I didn't die. That's another bad thing that I did right there. I played stupid dummy aggressive right there, and Winston pushed me, knocked me down. If I wasn't played so aggressive, I would have had some HP and been able to maybe do something, but... I didn't have any HP, and then that male might have saved our round, or at least for the current time, but they was capping, and I didn't think anyone was going to touch, and I thought he was going to lose. But their whole team is here. I die, like, almost instantly. Almost as soon as I can contest. And with the situation that we had, I probably could have waited, gave up a tick, and waited to come. But I, I don't know, I just don't think I've played Overwatch enough to understand that you can give up a tick as a healer. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, that's something about me. It's not like, uh, like, I know, I know, like, in terms of watching, but, like, when I'm playing, I'm like, I don't want to give up this tick, because then that means we're going to lose. Like, you get what I'm saying? And then I went through this teleporter, and that was a very stupid idea. I thought me and Sigma were going to get clapped. So, like, we hold... We, we, we won that team fight somehow and didn't even give up a tick, which was crazy to me. I have the Lucio discorded, and I was going to orb volley him if he would have peeked out, but he never peeked out. I popped trans. Uh, but trans doesn't save you from... Um, area of effect damage. So, clapped the Winston. I discorded the Sigma. Dropped behind the Sig Shield. Nice! Okay, I like that right there. I didn't play too aggressive. I didn't go for the kills that I knew I could have got. I sat behind the shield and didn't die. Because as a healer, you can't do stupid, stupidly dumb pushes like that. Like, like what I'm currently doing. Luckily, Diva was playing defensive. If she did dove on me, I would have died. But she was playing defensively. So, in terms of ult tracking, I knew where I knew that 
Well, obviously, you always gotta think Tracer has Pulse Bomb, because Pulse Bomb charges every 15 seconds. But, I didn't, I did not know that Winston had ult. I don't even know if he used it, but I didn't even know that. It's very, cause I, I thought I died there, because I should've. I was right next to the wall. I don't think he charged it up enough. Um, oh, he did use it. Right on my back. That is right, he almost booped me off, but he booped me into the room and I got the health back and he ran away. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, self-destruct was awful. We wasted, we wasted bomb with two minutes left. I was nervous. Um, I did not really like my awareness right there to not notice that the Winston was behind me. And even currently as we're watching this, I didn't even know the Winston was behind me. So that just shows that my awareness isn't the greatest. So I obviously couldn't be playing at 100% if my awareness isn't the best. But I don't even know because my awareness isn't the best. So it could have been that I was playing at 100% and I just didn't know you were me. So you got Doomfist. There's Ryan up in my face right after the Doomfist. Once again, the awareness problem. But... Aggressive Zen did work out for me right there. It was stupid, but Ryan was low enough to where it worked. Sometimes as Zen, you do have to play a little bit aggressive. Just a tad. And instead of popping trans right there, I hid behind the wall like I'm supposed to. Um, I discorded the D.Va. No one finished her. I was feeling, I was feeling it. I, I had a feeling somebody was over there. I peeked, it was a junk rat, I about peed my pants because I don't like junk rats. I have a hard time fighting junk rats. Moira ulted for like a 15th time. I should have ulted here. I did ult here. I waited. I waited till my own HP was low. To pad my stats. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I had a feeling I did something like that. There's that's something I would do. I don't know. I I know stats don't truly matter, but I always feel like they do. Um, we discorded the Nano Diva and we absolutely annihilated her. And I felt kind of bad because she literally got nanoed and then immediately lost Nano. Now we're focusing. I'm focusing Junkrat, shooting Junkrat, and he's gonna not die to that Diva bomb, and I don't know how. Um, we got Ryan. I think I'd go aggro here. Nope, I didn't. I dropped back. I did what I was supposed to do. Thought I went aggro. I did go a little bit of DPS in and forgot to heal Tor, but I got him afterwards. It worked out. Uh, Moira ulted again, I think. No, no one ulted. This, my will, is not the ult command. Now here, five seconds left. I'm thinking somebody's gonna push. There he goes, we discorded him, and that's game. We somehow miraculously won. Okay, so now, how do I feel like I played in total? I feel like at least 70%. At least 70%. That's the worst I could have got. The worst I could get is 70. Because 70% means that one of the areas was lacking. And I would have to say that area is awareness. I was not playing at 100%. There's no way I could be playing at 100% when I didn't even know two times in a row that Winston was behind me. So I'm going to give myself 68. 68% because I feel like I could have did better on awareness. And awareness does also imply the fact that I went DPS set a few times. And got a few crucial deaths that I shouldn't have. Like that game shouldn't have been as stressful as it was. So I'm giving myself a 68. Now we're gonna do these every week, varying days, probably Mondays, Mod Review Monday. That's probably what it's gonna be. So Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are going to be like content days. Which, we're probably not going to have anything this Wednesday. Because I don't think I've gave anything to my editor. So, we might not have anything this week. But, um, other than that... Other than that, well, Friday will be montages. I know I posted the last one on Thursday, but... 
I think I did at least. But Friday will be montages, and Friday will also be a glam montage. But that being said, I'm out. Peace out.